my neck looks so i look ashy from like this part down the hyperpigmentation it's not going anywhere this is the shirt i'm wearing and this is the face I put on the shirt. I don't know why. I just was like, I can do tiny cherry. That's cool. Shh, I hate myself so fucking much. Hi guys, it's Luna and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about harems and reverse harems. The only reason I'm talking about this is because I believe Warren High School Host Club is getting a season two. Or it like was rumored they were. Either way, it kind of brought up um, my feelings about harems and reverse harems. I'm just going to be saying harems in general, uh, reverse or not. Because they're kind of the same. And that's part of my point, but yeah. But as I said before, or at least I hinted to before, I don't like reverse harems. I don't like harems in general. Here's the reason I hate harems I feel like the most. And this happened with Orin High School Host Club, which is why this is a part of it. I don't like when harems forget how to character because it's a part of a harem and I get I get what harems are and I get the point of harems. It's supposed to be the female or male fantasy of like being desired by many people. Same sex, different sex, doesn't really matter. But that thought of like, oh I'm attractive to everybody, everybody fucking wants me, I get it as a kid. That stuff appealed to me and I think that's why I enjoyed Oron High School Host Club for as much as I did. That and the art style, but really looking into it, it's so hard to find a harem anime or reverse harem anime, even Oron, now looking back at it, that actually cares about characters and not tropes because that's why it seems like every harem anime is the same with like the smallest twist and i don't mean like decent twist to where oh yeah it's different i mean to like did you want to be in a school setting instead like take the same character tropes school take the same character tropes work take the same character tropes duh like you know what i mean like it's nothing really different and out there i think shuffle gave us a bit more of a a twist that's an anime i genuinely think that as a harem anime or i see it as a harem anime like it was actually very interesting when you really got down to the deepness of it because their characters also didn't solely rely on that and their characters did have some backstory that made their characters individually um uh, more like more of a breath of fresh air more unique more of people you know and I honestly forgot it was a hair man made just until like right this second because I never thought of it as that even though it pretty much definitely is in my opinion because I thought of the characters more for their character and looking back on Oron I can't do that all of their characters surround around this girl and they're all awful people except for when they're referencing to that girl and well actually they're still awful people with her but it's more of like that protective terribleness like I'm a terrible person but I still want to protect this person so I'm going to be a little bit less and that's kind of all it was which doesn't really make any sense of why she even ended up with a lot of them because they never really changed they only changed for her which is different let me explain because I need to explain that a little bit more changing in general like your character in general because of somebody is different than changing for that person because when you change because of that person, you change in general. It changes how you really treat other people in general. It never was that for them. I mean, there are scenes, but overall, they're still the same people they were. They changed when around her, about her, when it was, when it was like directed towards Haruhi, which means they just wanted to impress her. That's not who they truly are. Because who you are most of the time is pretty consistent around most people. There are some situations that obviously it's not, but in general, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, it's my family and that's why I am nice to this person or this is why because I'm around my family, that's why I'm doing this. That means that you're just not a good person. That just means that you're just doing that for your family so they think you look good. If you don't do that outside of that, that just means that you're not shitty, like you're a shitty person and you don't do those things for people. It's just literally the same thing as, as a woman, especially because I'm dating right now. It's that shit that like, that's why we have to wait like months before we really know who a lot of guys are. And same thing for women, but I mainly see with men because they'll lie and they'll do stuff because we're there. And then we'll find out later, oh, they take, they 
They shit on everybody. And then when they get comfortable with you, they start doing it to you. Because that wasn't who they truly were. It was just who they wanted to be. So you wouldn't see them as a bad person. Tomaki was the only decent person who in general was okay. He was still a bad person as well. In some context anyways. So it makes sense of why she went with him. But just to see the characters honestly not really change much in my opinion and mainly just i didn't want to talk anyways okay the plane went away i don't remember what i was saying <laughs> i'm sorry i hate dropping points like that i just can't remember because these planes are so long um and i have the attention span of a pee but it just bothered me in this show and there were even like moments that irked me like i think we all know about that moment with Harry and that pretend grape scene you know exactly what i'm talking about where they're trying to teach her that she should have ran to them because she's not strong enough to like if they know there are dicks that could come there they should have had security around her because they know that she doesn't have any protection even if she ran to go get them that wouldn't have changed what happened to her that the guys could have easily still pushed her off of the thing so really nothing really nothing would have changed if they went to if she went to go get them because they they could have just pushed her either way and cornered her and then what happened she's in the same predicament but yeah you have to teach her lesson don't confront the people and maybe try to protect yourself or anything like that and you know you could take classes we could help you we you know forced you in many predicaments but <sighs> i'm not gonna get into that because i went on a whole rant last time recorded something like this on that point alone and people defending that to death you're a weirdo if you do it i'm just saying like that whole situation was a lot <laughs> i can't anyways shuffle is a better example of it again i every time i remember the characters from shuffle i don't remember them as they were like attached at the hip connected to the main character even though i know they all wanted him in some way shape or form or they cared about him in that way it never felt like that it felt like they also did have their own lives separate from them I feel like in Orin High School Host Club, they were all so surrounded by Haruhi. Not even like, oh, because of school. It was very much they inserted themselves in every part of her life, no matter what she did. Which is a weird invasion of privacy, but it got so, like, cringy to watch. That was just like, like, you guys already go to school together and... You can invite her places and stuff like that and genuinely make a uh, like, oh, do you want to be around us type thing? Or hopefully you want to be around us type thing when you're just forcing her to be want to be around you. And then she still has this like, I don't know, they still have this thing of like who likes. And then that's the thing. The only real thing I could even say about Sam is them trying to be better friends to each other by helping each other like this or stuff like that. And it's like, I don't give a fuck about you guys being better friends to each other by not confessing your feelings to this girl that you're forcing to be around you at all times. That's, like, looking back at that, I'm like, that's so weird. And though it was a funny show, and I will say it's very entertaining, that's all I can really say. I can't say this was a good anime, and looking back at it, I can't really recommend it unless someone's just a general fan of harem animes. But if you're just, like, a fan of anime and you give a recommendation, I don't think Orin High School Host Club could be mine shuffle wouldn't be either because it wasn't entertaining it was good character development and whatnot but i could see somebody getting very bored of that if i tried to recommend it to them again it would need to be a special recommendation but it was at least a lot better Shuffle did have a bunch of problems and there were a lot of a lot to those characters that we can like really deep dive into and go into like the psychological point of it which is why i loved it and some of the stuff behind it but like and you know and you guys if you've seen the ending you know that's what i'm talking about like there was there were characters that had shit going on outside of the main character and it was like a thing and it was like I like that about that and that's kind of the kind of hair animes that I like but most hair animes are like or in high school host club where they have these characters that are tropes that they give a little bit of backstory to and then they kind of just stay pretty the same sorry somebody messaged me but my point in general is that I feel like harem and reverse harem anime characters just start reminding me of especially their main character just like the characters from porn you know I mean that faceless nobody that's just there to be a cock like that's what it reminds me of 
honestly. And I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. I shouldn't be considerably reminded of porn every time I see a harem. I feel like it just gets boring and then they start churning it out like most animes but especially when it's something that you can have a bunch of tropes and bullshit at it's just churned out and out and out and that's all you keep seeing so when i go to a, a harem anime section it's just the same shit copied and pasted in different locations with different looking girls and sometimes not even not like the bitches look the exact same and i just thought about that and i just wanted to talk about that especially because people keep saying like Oron's a good show and like it's entertaining it's a show to watch if you want to watch it I would watch it but to recommend it to people as if it's like the best show in the world or it's super good nah there are funny moments I said definitely say look at the funny moments of, of uh Oron but if the main character was a background character not if uh they were never shown never the, just if they were a background character if they were a character that came on you know, but didn't like, they weren't main. They weren't there all the time. Would I still feel that way? Would they still be good? I would have forgot about half the characters. They would have been background characters. And I wouldn't have felt like, oh, you know, put them in them. They should be main characters. I love this story. I want to hear more. I would have never said that about any one of those dudes. And Shuffle, I definitely wanted all of their stories. I wanted to know everything about them. And I feel like one of the characters specifically, we didn't get to know enough about her. I felt like I wanted more from her actually, and more from her character. But yeah, I don't know. That's just how I feel. I've been talking for 24 minutes, so I'm just gonna go now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Also, sorry I didn't put out an extra video. I went through something this week, so I'm gonna hopefully put an extra one out for this week. But, you know, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna talk about. But I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.